at the lowest pay, it pays for the entire tuition for four years. God knows, God provides. Yeah, so we'll see. I haven't gotten a job offer. I was actually hoping that they give me the higher end of the scale, but they're just thinking of giving me the lowest end of the scale. <laughs> I'm just like, what? I have two and a half years of experience. The top end of the scale, they said it should be like three, three to four years of experience, and I have two and a half. Two and a half is close to three. It's closer to three than a zero year experience, but... <laughs> so saying I'm disappointed is an understatement. So I'll have to talk to HR once I get the offer and see what happens. See if I can get the higher end of the scale, considering how I actually have a lot of experience for, for the job they're looking for. I, I wasn't even expecting them to call me because they were dragging their feet in terms of checking my references. So I didn't even know what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I waited a whole week for them to check my references. And then I was like, hey, just asking for an update, you know? And they're like, oh, yeah. I actually just called that one reference and I haven't heard back. And that's why they wanted to talk to my current employer, which I was really nervous about actually talking to the doctor because, you know, I don't like to let my current employers know if I'm interviewing somewhere else until I actually get the job. Um, somewhere else, right? It's just something that I like to do because I don't want to create trouble for myself, you know? So I had to talk to him because I don't have any references. So funny story about this is I prayed, right? Before doing anything, I always pray. So I was like, okay, this person needs a reference. And they asked me if, if I talked to my current employer, letting them know that I would probably leave and stuff. And I was like, no, I didn't. And I just gave them a whole bunch of other references. Um, of, of previous supervisors as opposed to the current one, right? And I was like, it'll be fine, whatever. If they really want me, then... And then I was like, <laughs> praying, and I was like, seriously, do I have to talk to the doctor right now, you know? And and it said that I had to talk to the doctor, right? And I was just like, eh, I don't know about that. So I was like dragging my feet. I was like, because during that time, I didn't have anything guaranteed yet, right? So I was supposed to talk to the doctor about it. So basically, I, I left the office because I was like, oh, no, no, God, look, it was bad timing because the doctor's like doing all his things and he doesn't want to be disturbed. His door's closed. So I'm like, it's OK. I, I'll talk to him next time. Right. And then I got an interview for Chinese medicine program that I wanted to go into. And basically during that interview, they were like, oh, yeah, you're a great fit, you know. And so if you want to attend, then here are the next steps, basically, right? So I got into the program, which is like, okay, great, fantastic. <laughs> and then, so I got that done. And so now I'm like, in, uh, before I actually say yes to the school, I have to know if I'll get this job, right? And so I was waiting for this person to get to check my references and give me an offer and all these things. So I was like dragging my feet until ultimately I had to talk to the doctor. And so I had to go in there and it was like... <laughs> So, you know, nothing related to this or anything, but uh, I need your help with something. <laughs> yeah, so I was just like, well, I need to refi my house. And to be able to do that, I need to, to get more pay and all that kind of stuff. So I, I applied somewhere else that pays twice as much as what I make here with twice the amount of hours, right? And then he goes like, oh, how much do you make? And how many hours and all these kinds of things? Because I was like, I don't think they're going, like management was going to be able to match the offer or, or give me more hours or more pay, right? At least not not twice as much, you know, like all these things. Because the one I actually applied to, I was like, you know, I applied to this place and I know you hate them. <laughs> <laughs> because they're kind of like our rivals, you know, another cancer center. And they pay twice as much because they're a big hospital and stuff like that. So the doctor was a mad. So he's like, no, of course, you know, he's like, I will give you a glowing recommendation. Because anything you want to do, I would support you in, right? So you just let me know what you want me to tell them and all that kind of stuff, right? And I was like, oh, thank you so much. You know, I was like really nervous and I didn't know how to say it. And <laughs> And, and I feel bad. And he's like, no, you should never feel bad about, you know, wanting to make more money, right? That's kind of like very characteristic of him because he actually talks about 
money all the time <laughs> you know, as a doctor. <laughs> he likes to share like how um how to run the business and how much money you make and how much money you charge and all that kind of stuff because you know, I'm interested in in the medical field and all that stuff, right? So <laughs> in running a business one day kind of a thing um, as, a, as a healthcare provider, right? So he actually did give me glowing recommendation. And so the the other person wanted to give me an offer for the job, right? <laughs> so the doc was like, but do me a favor. Actually, once you get the offer, bring it over to management here and see if they can match it or beat it, right? Which I don't anticipate they will do, but we don't know. God can do it, but we don't know. <laughs> I don't know where God wants to place me, right? Because this hospital is like, it's massive, right? And you get to learn more stuff over there and they have more resources. But the, the exchange is that I don't know how well I will get along with the doctor, right? Because the doctor I work with right now is a fantastic teacher. And he's very open, he's very friendly, and I can ask him anything, basically. So I don't know what the relationship with the other doctor would be. Uh, based on the interview, the doctor seems like she's very good at her job and very thorough and all that kind of stuff. So I think I learned a lot from how she does things because she likes to have very detailed notes. So that's always good, right? So you get to learn more. So we'll we'll see where God places me. <laughs> uh, it'd, be, it'd be great if they can match it, my current employer can match it, then I can stay in my current place because, you know, I, I quite enjoy it. Um, if not, then I'll go to the other one. And I was thinking, I was like, hey, I could stay there for a year and like save money for the entire time. Like don't spend my income and I will be able to pay for my schooling for the entire four years. <laughs> Doesn't pay for lodging or food or anything, but at least it pays for the tuition for four years. And I don't have to get a student loan for that specific reason, right? <laughs> so I was like, okay, maybe maybe that's a, that's a thing God's providing me, right? At the lowest pay, it pays for the entire tuition for four years. I was like, okay, I can, I can deal with that. I, I can deal with that. <laughs> One year. All right. That's fine. <laughs> oh, God knows God provides. Yeah. So we'll see. We're, last week we were saying how common it is for in, in the tech field to actually shop around while you have a job to see how much your market worth is, right? So you go and you apply to jobs and then you shop around, you go through the multiple interviews for each organization. The tech field has multiple interviews for each organization. Usually, okay, multiple levels with multiple levels of managers and stuff. Um, so you survive through that just to see how much they're going to offer you. And then you take that to your employer and say, hey, this is how much I'm worth now based on my skill set that I can provide a company, right? Based on what I'm doing currently. This is what I'm worth now. And then it's either they're going to match it or beat it. Or you leave, right? Like, it's up to you. If you're like, well, they can't match it and I make more money doing the exact same thing over there, then I'll just leave, whatever, right? Um, so that's quite common. So that's basically what I did, right? Like, I applied to some place that, had, that paid twice as much doing the exact same thing <laughs> that what I'm doing right now with the medical field. Um, and I got the job and then I had to wait to see my employer if they're going to match it and they cannot match it <laughs> and it took them so long they had to take two days just to tell me that they can't match it right I could have like um, because the the offer is limited for two days and and they're like, hey, are you not taking the job? Why are you taking so long just to review it and just to accept the offer, you know? And, and I'm like, oh, I'm totally reviewing it. I'm considering it, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> so it, they took forever to actually give me the offer. And yet when they sent the offer, they are anxious to have me approve the offer, or accept the offer right away. Like double standard, isn't it? I feel like I feel like there's a double standard there somewhere. So that's not cool. So I, I spoke with the manager and, and initially she's like, hey, can I borrow you for like five minutes? I was like, five minutes doesn't sound like good news. <laughs> and she's like, oh yeah, five minutes is my default time, but then it's never five minutes, right? And it wasn't five minutes. But... And so I like sit down and she's like, well, first off, I can't offer you full time because you can do the job and just part time. So we don't have the budget for that because... We don't have the budget for that because, you know, we had 
like all these things happened last year and then that that's so like the whole story right and then and then after that it's just like um but for the pay i can't do that much <laughs> can't do that much i can't so really you should just accept that offer right away because there's really no no way i can match it right and, and then like why did it take so long to tell me that you gotta told me that right then and there but okay just waste people's time <laughs> like that but what's interesting is that it's like well you know we can give you a raise but it's gonna be this much it's like really far from what i got the offer um and and then she was like, well, you know, in the interim, if the doctor's okay with it, we can have you work remotely if you're okay with it at this new pay, right? So it's still more than I'm making. So that's cool. <laughs> Nowhere near the offer I got. So that's okay. But I'm just like, well, I can do this full time. A new a new job full time, and I can do part time for the current job that I have right now remotely, and then I still have, I keep the other one which is the same doctor but different clinic remote. That's that that doesn't change. Right? And that one I don't know if he's gonna give me he's gonna match the the current offer I have right now. He said he can, but he has to think about it. So. <laughs> you know, I just I just want to keep my remote jobs because it's remote and it's not dependent upon me having to go to the office every day. So um, once I go back to school, then I can just do the work remotely, right? Even if it's less pay, I can still at least make money without leaving my house and focus on study, basically. So that's that's the plan and that's how it um, evolved. <laughs> 